Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be uh, doing a review of this Velocity Systems low profile armor carrier. Uh, this is my uh, patrol vest, so I just wanted to do a review. I already had this for over a year, so this is going to be like a long term review of uh, the setup on my vest. And uh, because I've been getting a lot of questions from some of you police officers out there about selling a department on outer vest carriers. I've been wearing an outer vest carriers as long as I've been on the job, so approximately 11 years. So I've gone through quite a few of them. And this is by far one of my favorite ones. So um, yeah, we're gonna go to my table and uh, I'm gonna break this down for you and uh, show you all the things that I like and dislike about this and how I modified it and set it up for everyday patrol use. So uh, I'll see you at the table. All right, so welcome back to this uh, review of the Velocity Systems Low Armor Profile Carrier. So I've done a lot of research before I uh, purchased this because uh, before I was running an Armor Express Hardcore uh, Outer Carrier and um, honestly uh, I, I wasn't a big fan of it because it was a little too bulky and it had a little too much molly so I was trying to get rid of some of the molly because uh, so, to some people it looks a little too aggressive and uh, for patrol use you don't need all that extra molly so one thing I'll tell you right away is I wish initially when I ordered this I would have uh, just taken all this molly off because this was pretty much a custom order and honestly you don't need molly on your back especially for patrol use so so the way uh, I set this uh, vest up is uh, the first thing first is uh, I got the Spiritus system, uh, the, the chest rig. And uh, this is pretty much my primarily a medical pouch. So if you want to see a more detailed review of this, I can do that as well. But as you can tell, uh, I added a, a zipper to the top and it was the AXL defense uh, insert to, to have a zipper because otherwise it's just a pouch but you can also convert this to add rifle uh, magazine pouches to it but as you can see this is all medical stuff and uh, the the two pouches that I added to this were the inserts for the pistol mags so I got the two pistol mags right here and here I got my uh, st trusty Streamlight uh, flashlight and honestly this thing has been awesome. I've, used, I've been using this for probably the last six years. When, when this first came out I was probably one of the first guys that bought it and it's been uh, working pretty good for me. Then I added a, a tourniquet on the bottom there are a couple uh, uh, holes here that you can run a bungee through and then you can attach your tourniquet to this and uh, honestly I didn't feel like spending ten dollars on a bungee cord that you could get from Spiritus so I just made my own and uh, I can make a video on how to do that as well so another thing uh, as you can see the main modification that I did to this my biggest uh, gripe with this is uh, Velocity Systems does not have first spear quick releases as an option. So uh, I had one of my buddies on the team uh, do a modification for me. So pretty much he had to cut off the, the Velcro flap here that was going sandwich into here. And he just added, uh, sewed these two loops on and um, added the first spear quick releases and uh, ran the Velcro through here. So for some of you, who don't care about that and who are not gonna run the pouch in the front and they're just looking for the low visibility uh, carrier you can also just add the, the flap to here and uh, it's just gonna be a slick vest especially for some of you like the detective types or doing some uh, undercover stuff this is uh, perfect because you could just take this off put the flap on and you're gonna have a clean look so also, uh, Velocity has another cool uh, thing that you can get. 
it's a magnet that goes underneath here and then you add the, the other side to here and all you do is just put it right right to the to the vest it sticks right on and uh, that's another cool uh, cool thing for like rapid deployment type situations where if your department doesn't allow you to have any type of uh, pouches like this on your vest or you can just uh, have this next to you and you just slap it right onto your chest and uh, you're ready to, to go. Uh, another thing, if you're using the new uh, body cams like these Axons, uh, there's no Molly attachments. So the way I did it, I used the, the magnet attachment. I put it underneath the vest and it sticks right on. So uh, another uh, thing that I got is uh, this uh, pry bar. If you're on patrol, even on SWAT, this uh, Broco a bar is awesome. Uh, you can just pop doors real easy with this and uh, this thing is pretty solid. Um, another thing that uh, I got with the vest was the, the cummerbund. It's not the standard one, it's the one that has the, the pockets in it. As you can see, I'm, uh, I'm running my radio in here because I like my uh, radio being tight to the body. As some of you would know, when you get in a scuffle, your radio gets ripped off. I've had my radio completely ripped off my body on uh, some of those uh, crappy uh, tailored vests that you get at the, your uniform shops. So after that, I uh, switched to this type of carrier. And this thing is pretty solid. I also made my own uh, bungee attachment, which goes through the bottom here. Can also go in more detail video about that. And this thing is, is solid in here. It's not going anywhere. So uh, this cummerbund, it's got pockets that goes through. You got two pockets here and uh, you got two pockets here. So you can even slide uh, a rifle mag in here or you can slide more medical uh, gear in here. It's really dr dressing in there as well. But I would suggest doing some type of a uh, bungee if you're going to do that because uh, there's no retention in here. Another thing that I added just for another easy thing is you know you don't want to lose your keys so one of these quick d-rings and uh, just clip it right on uh, also had uh, when I was ordering this I had them add the, the mic loops uh, because uh, this thing does not come with microphone loops so if you're gonna order it make sure you specify that so uh, like in this one I'm running my little stream light so when I'm writing at night I can just turn this thing on and also, I got my radio on on this one, as you can see. So what I did is I used my old Armor Express uh, shoulder pads, just because these uh, you can velcro open if you gotta take your radio off. Because the with the Velocity ones, uh, those things are just solid, and uh, you can't just run a cord through unless you're gonna leave your radio on your vest permanently, like I do now. You could just you can use the velocity ones so it's just something to consider if you're gonna order this um, another big thing that I would uh, I just added to the vest uh, last year is a rifle plate so this vest will take a sappy uh, plate in the back and front so Here we go. I got the the, the shooter's cut uh, shot stop rifle rated plate. So this is in conjunction with your current body armor. This is one of the best things that I, uh, I saw last year at a show and uh, I had to get one right away. These are warranted for 15 years and it's one of the lightest plates that you could probably get for your uh, patrol vest. So, especially for some of you, you know, for rapid deployment situations, if you don't want to have to carry an, an additional uh, plate carrier, this is awesome because I just wear this every day. This thing just weighs just over two pounds. I mean, it's super light and it actually floats as well. So, uh, if you're looking for these, just call these guys up. Pretty good customer service and uh, you'll get them pretty quick. And I've been very satisfied with these. So far, I've been... Uh, 
very happy with this thing because uh, my previous vest, like the Arm Express one, was actually pretty heavy. All that molly adds additional bulk and weight to it. It was a good vest, but it was just uh, it was getting too too uh, uncomfortable for me. So actually, this thing is probably one of the lightest carriers that that you could probably get on the market. Um, when I got this thing, I couldn't believe how light it was. But uh, as I pointed out, um, one of my biggest gripes with this vest is is that you can't get the first spear attachments on it. And uh, another thing that if you're gonna add your name tape or and your uh, police badge on here, there's not much space on here, and you kind of kind of have to jam it all in here. So I, I had to downsize my patches and. When I was ordering this, I had to add the extra Velcro to the top here because when it comes to standard, this is all the Velcro you're going to get on the bottom. So so make sure you, if you're going to order it, make sure you let them know that you want the additional Velcro on here. You want me to do any more additional uh, videos on gear reviews, just let me know down in the comments. Um, I mean... I've been doing this for the last 11 years. I've gone through a lot of gear between the SWAT and patrol. So, I mean, uh, I'm gonna try to get my hands on more uh, different types of gear. Uh, I know if you're looking for something else, uh, another good competitor to this is uh, United Shield just came out with a whole bunch of carriers that uh, you can customize in many different ways. That look more like your uniform shirt so just another thing to consider if your department doesn't allow carriers and you're considering switching to these because uh, like I said a lot of administrator types don't like these carriers because they look too aggressive but honestly it's so much weight off your belt and in long term you don't want to develop any uh, back issues the total weight of this vest with the with the plates and the pouch and the radio and everything is uh, 14.8 pounds so honestly it's not that heavy and uh, another thing I didn't mention is the this there's a kangaroo pouch right here and uh, I, I just use it for my phone I just take it and just slide it right in as you can see right here it's a uh, just enough room for my body cam and this. so just another thing to consider because when you add this body cam it takes this uh, kangaroo pouch out of play let me know if uh, if I missed anything if you need any more additional information on this uh, just let me know in the comments and uh, I hope you like this review and uh, yeah if you got any questions on the spiritus pouch as well I can uh, just let me know uh, I kind of uh, breezed over this because I mean the main review was just the vest. We're working on uh, with some vendors uh, reviewing more products so we're gonna try to get our hands on uh, some of uh, you know up-and-coming type of uh, products since the SHOT Show has been canceled and a lot of these uh, events have been canceled due to COVID so we're gonna try to fill in just by doing our own reviews of some of the gear that uh, you're not gonna be able to see due to all the cancellations. So I hope you guys uh, and gals enjoy the content. Uh, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe and please share with your friends. I'm trying to grow on the channel and uh, it's been slow and steady. But either way, hopefully some of you will find benefit in this. And we'll see you on the next one.